Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. Stepping into the box, Gio Urshela. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. A 1-1. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Digging in now for the Yankees, Miguel Andujar. He's carrying a batting average of just over 300, so clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. A 1 1 home. He swung on and missed for strike number two. Bases are empty here with two men out. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Trying to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Line toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The third base Vladimir. Stepping in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. In past meetings with Tanaka, just three for 14. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Tell it over at second. Guerrero on at first with nobody out. Back up. To, oh, no, that got him. LeMayhew for one. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Next to bat for Toronto to Oscar Hernandez. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. The 2-2 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Reined in. A bare hand for one. On to Voigt, an inning-ending double play. New inning set to get underway. And standing in the outfielder, Aaron Judge. 1-1. It is a changeup that drops below the knees for a ball. Nope. And he lays off the circle change here as he moves into the driver's seat 3-1. and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Going back is the center fielder. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. At the plate, Torres. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. And he fouls this one off. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. 
Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. McKinney. It's on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Set to get his day started, Giancarlo Stanton, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. The 1 2 is laid off for ball two. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Settling in now, Luke Voigt. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Hit hard up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. A swing by Sanchez, and this one soaring out into left field. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. Into the box, Brett Gardner. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around first, here's Gardner on his way to second. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Now At the plate now, Gio Urshela swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Hernandez is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Last half of the second set to go, and striding forward the designated hitter, Bo Bichette. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this. Now, meanwhile here, this ball's hit fairly well down that left field line, and it's going to stay fair. It's a home run. In now, Rendell Britcher. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Into the box, Reese McGuire. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Tanaka has a reputation as a strike thrower, although that doesn't often result in a ton of strikeouts. A typical start may find him with a low walk total and the ball in play a lot. Matty, he's what they call today one of those pitch to contact kind of guys. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He relies a lot on his defense. And one of the keys, he's not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. With that said, he needs some defense behind it because he's not going to get a whole lot of swings and misses. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Going back is the right fielder. Still going back. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. Standing in now, Kevin Biggio. Fastball taken down the middle, and that's strike two. And it's fouled away. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full 3-2 and two here. It's a perfect example of why guys struggle right here. You watch highlights every night of guys hitting home runs, and I'll show you mislocation. That catcher was set up away, and he missed all the way inside. And it's one and two. This year against right-handed pitching, Tellez is a batting line residing in the 230s. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Next to the Blue Jays, the third baseman. Vladimir. Into the box now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Swing and a line drive, but foul. The one-two. Gets him swinging, he struck him out. 
Stepping in for the Jays, Lourdes Guriel. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Payoff pitch on its way. Hit on the ground to short. He's right there. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Grounder down the line at third. And this ball gets right past him. Boy, looked like he was in position, but they'll have a leadoff base runner. Now back, the second baseman, DJ. At the plate, DJ LeMayhew. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And Duhar is on his way home. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. The right field, number Stepping in now, Aaron Judge. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Looking up is Hernandez. And it's gone. Blake now, Torres. Down low, two balls and a strike. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here it comes on one and one. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. Working for the punch out and the offering. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Fouled away. Three runs already home here. Hit in the air out toward left. On the run is Hernandez. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Next for New York, Luke Voigt. He reached on a single in his first try. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Hernandez is in pursuit. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Digging in for his second at bat, Gary Sanchez. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. The center field, number 11. In now, Brett Gardner. And that misses two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Hit back up the middle. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. of the third now and that'll bring up the outfielder to Oscar Hernandez hit sharply on the ground a dive and he knocks it down and not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single into the 
box. Bo Bichette. Three and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. The 1-1 one -one is taken for ball two. A lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Count even at two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Digging in now, Reese McGuire. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. The 1 1 home is a fastball down below the knees. Runners are at first and second with one away. Ball even at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Judges under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. That'll bring up Billy McKinney. Two on, two out for him here in the third. And that last at that when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. The one two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. And gone up into the second deck. To the plate now, Kevin Biggio. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Standing in now, Gio Urshela. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. To short. He's got it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Ready for another chance. Miguel Andujar. A fly out and a single for him so far. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Six runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Just a bit low. A tough call, but it's two and two. Too high. Ball three. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth. And that'll bring up D.J. LeMayhew. And this one misses high for ball four. And they have themselves a two-out base runner. Here's big Aaron Judge. Aaron. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this AB. The 2 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. Now the 2-1. And this is popped up near second base. And there's one down now. 
So the base is empty here with one away. And that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 1-1. There's a fastball that misses. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Ready for another so shot now. Notice Guriel. 0 for 2 from him so Mortis. far in this one. Guriel. Tanaka sets his sights. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. A ball and two strikes. Six runs, seven hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Hit sharply on the ground, and there's his first base hit in this one. Now back, left fielder, Day after. So now to the plate to Oscar Hernandez. One and two now. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Tanner Roar will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And stepping in the long ball threat, Torres. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Line towards center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Giancarlo Stanton. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. 3 and 1. One out, nobody on. No offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. Ready once again. Look, Boyd. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 1 1. Now a ball hit hard toward first. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Now batting. The catcher. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. One and two now as that one's fouled off. a look now the pitch got him swinging chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone so here's the veteran Brett Gardner the set and the 1-1 one -one. oh they have him looking awfully confused up there right now it's one and two now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly and the inning is over Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Bo Bichette. Now the three and two pitch. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. The right fielder, Randall Grichik at the plate now. No hits to this point. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of now the game. Number 10. So coming to the plate, Reese McGuire. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Lays off the splitter that time, and it's two balls and a strike. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. 
trying to pick things up where he left off. Billy McKinney, two home Billy. runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Ben Heller trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. At the plate now, Kevin Biggio. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's now an 8-6 game. Now that number 24. Stepping in now, Rowdy Tellers. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1-2 and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. Hit down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even at two and two. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. So a full count now. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Hit hard on the ground to second. LeMayhew's got it. Throw on to Vort takes care of him, and the inning is over. The sixth about to get started, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Gio Urshela. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Miguel. Stepping up now, Miguel Andujar. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Softly hit out to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Now batting. The second baseman. DJ. To the plate now. DJ LeMayhew. Line to the right side. But a foul ball. The one two. Here's a pop up now. Biggio is under it. Two gone. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Aaron Judge. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and set to go is the third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Well, the 1 2 pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on 2 and 2. You know he doesn't want this and that to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Standing in now, Lourdes Scoria. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Here's the 2-2. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Nobody out, runner on first. Fouled off. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is Stanton. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Teoscar Hernandez now digging back. in now. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Runner at first here, one man out. Line towards center field. 
But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. How about it? Striding forward now is the D.H., Bo Bichette. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. High ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. I try and tell people all the time, you're facing 90 to 92, 94. You can still see seams. It starts... Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Jordan Romano is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 68. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next, the dangerous power threat, Torres. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Two and one. We're facing right-handed pitching so far this season. Stanton hits a little over the 270 mark. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. The first base. One and one, here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. McKinney's there for it. Two gone. So it's a runner at first now with back. two men out, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. The 1-1 one, one is looked at for ball number two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Even count two balls and two strikes. Still two and two. That's back-to-back -back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he fouls this one off. The next three, two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. of the inning now and standing in is the veteran outfielder Rendell Gritcher. left side throw on to first in time one away digging in once again Reese McGuire it was a fly out for him in his last trip a one one Outside, that's the ball. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Full count still. three two one more time swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out into the box now Billy McKinney two home runs and a double to his credit thus far having quite the game two balls and a strike looks like he's pitching pretty cautiously right here but that happens when a guy's three for three on the day usually he's a guy you challenge a little bit more but I guess he's earned some respect in this one here now the 2-2. Is laid off and the count runs full. Kevin Biggio would be next. Weak grounder down the first baseline. 
but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Swing and a little blooper to center. Urshela is there, and the side is retired. Anthony Bass has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 52, Anthony. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Brett Gardner. 1-1. One, one. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So now to the plate, Gio Urshela. Count is one and two now. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Row, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches. And if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day. And we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential now tying nine. run here is aboard late eight. in the game. Miguel. And that'll bring up and Miguel Andujar. Lead off man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. Now the 2-1. was looked at for ball three. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Beautiful diving stop. The second for one. Safe. At the plate, D.J. LeMahieu, one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. The 1-1. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's 2-2 two and two now. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally, an ugly swing right there. He's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he is in there at third as the possible tying run. Now back, right fielder. Aaron. In now, Aaron Judge. Good. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Swing and a fly ball. And this should at least get home the tying run. The catch is made. Here comes the tying run from third. But it's offline. He scores. And we are tied here in the eighth. Justin Miller takes over here with a runner at first and two gone in the inning. Torres will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And it's fouled away. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball. And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya! At 
at the plate now. Giancarlo Stanton. One ball and two strikes the count. Ready on one and two. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. Now back, the first base. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. Gary Sanchez would be next. Now he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. Thomas Pannoni will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Fouled away. This is line to left. Into a slide, and he makes a great catch to retire the side. Zach Britton will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Digging in and looking for more, Kevin Biggio. He singled and drove home two his last time. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Rowdy Tellez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And a sinker dips too low there, into the dirt in fact. Strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Two out, nobody on. High in the air out to center field. Gardner on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Set to start the ninth in this one. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Here now the 2-2. Fouled off. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now, now to the plate, Tyro Estrada. Tyro Estrada. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And here's a ball hit in the air. And foul. The next 3-2. Pops this one up. Tellers in foul ground, but this will land untouched. 
Another full count pitch home. Hit to short. In time to first, and there are two away. Ready now, Miguel Andujar. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a fly ball well hit. Richard is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Set for the bottom of the ninth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Lourdes Guriel. The 1 1 home. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there. And that one is long gone. Aroldis Chapman comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. To the plate now, to Oscar Hernandez. Now a sinker's low off the outside corner, two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. So a runner at first now with nobody out. In the bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. From the belt, the pitch. On the ground is short. This could be two. LeMayhew for one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Here's Randall Gritchick, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. He's set. Here comes the 1-1, and he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Final strike for the Blue Jays. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last? 12 to 9, the final in this one. New York played in an even dozen runs to come out on top today. Ben Heller wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Aroldis Chapman closes the door for the save, his 26th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Time for the ball game. Four hours and 17 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.